Hello there, it's Sev from Three Counties Motorhomes and welcome to this video on operating the BCA Denver control panel like you see here in front of me. It's a very simple control panel to use and we're going to show you the typical day-to-day -day functions so that you can use this panel quite happily and confidently. So let's get started. So first things first, the panel itself has a sort of power state that is uh, separate to the leisure battery. Um, so you can turn on and off the leisure battery and the panel remains on regardless. Um, now, the panel, when it's on, you can see here we will have information on this display. This is typically the time. And then there can also be some icons in the top corner denoting other bits and bobs. Like in this case, we have a cable and a plug that's showing that the vehicle here in this case is plugged into mains electricity. Now to set the time, we press the um, enter button here and if we hold it in, that will start flashing the hour. We can then set that with the left or right arrows to change the hour, of course. Press the enter button once happy and we go to the minutes, which we can adjust. Press the enter button again and there you go. We've set the time. Simple as that. Now, if I press the master button, you will see it says here master off. So the, the leisure battery was on just a moment ago, uh, but now it is uh, off. If I press again, you can see it says master on and master basically just means the uh, leisure battery uh, in this particular instance. Now, of course, this could be wired up in many different ways, especially on more bespoke uh, conversions or uh, vehicles. But uh, in this particular instance, and in most cases, that will, of course, be a leisure battery. Turning on and off your uh, pumps, water uh, pumps, power supply here, you do with the pump buttons so that just turns your water pump on and off. So without that running, of course, or without that enabled, your water pump won't have power and therefore your water system will likely not work correctly. Uh, this is labelled lights here. It says lights on or lights off. Uh, in this case, that is the entire vehicle's lighting circuit. Uh, but you can also uh, find that some lights may be independent of this master switch, but that's what that serves. And then awning is going to be for the outside awning light. That's the very key functions. Let's now uh, go through the pages of information. So you can go left or right here. It doesn't really matter. You'll kind of go through the list of pages and come back around to this starting screen um, and you can enter the uh, menu or the set of screens if you want from either end, depending on which arrow you press. But we'll go from the right here. So the first page we have is water level. So that's for the fresh water tank in this instance. We then have a wastewater tank level. Now we have fill internal tanks. So on vehicles where there is an external power point, typically 12 volt power point for a water pump, this will allow power to be sent to that um, power point, therefore able to say power a submersible pump and transfer water from a container into the vehicle's internal tank. All you would do is press the enter button. It says here filling tank. That's basically now supplying power to that external point and the tank will fill up accordingly and it will just show you the level here as that happens. Press enter again by the way to turn that back off. The next page is the external temperature. Then we have some user settings. If I press enter here we can go into where we can see here various uh, different options for uh, typically device based options for uh, how we want things to uh, behave, whether we want uh, alarms on, whether we want this to beep when we press buttons, uh, the contrast on the screen and so on and so forth. Of course, have a little look through these uh, um, and refer to your uh, manual where um, applicable if you are a bit unsure about what any of those functions can serve. Going into detail there is a little bit beyond the scope of this video today. Uh, the next option is the internal temperature. Then we have battery select. Now I'll come back onto this in just a moment. We then have leisure battery amps. Now what this should be saying really is leisure battery drain or leisure battery draw because this won't ever show a positive number. Let me get to that again. It won't ever show a positive number. At the moment, this vehicle is plugged into mains electricity and it has a mains powered battery charger that is charging up the leisure battery. So 
realistically, we should be seeing a positive number of amps, i.e. electrical current, going into the leisure battery. But as you can see, it's at zero. This number only shows a drain from the battery. So when we're on charge, we won't see anything other than a zero reading. But if I was to turn the mains electrical supply off, this would start showing a number. Um, and even though it won't have a minus in front of it, it is showing you a drain. So at the moment, it's saying we don't have any drain on the battery. That's basically what it's telling us. But it can be confusing because at first glance, or especially by the uh, page title there, you can think it's an ammeter, which would show both positive and negative values but that's not the case. And as you may have noticed, the next one here is the battery voltage. Um, so there we go. And then we're back to the main um, screen. Sorry, I have to go back this way. So yeah. Um, so that's if we were to go right, just to show you that go for all of those. Um, and then we get to leisure battery amps, then the voltage, and then we're back to the clock display again. And if we want to go back the other way, we can. So there's battery voltage, then it'll be battery amps, and then back to battery select, which is what I was going to mention a moment ago. If I press the enter button here, nothing is happening. OK, now, in some instances, this can allow you to switch to the vehicle battery. But again, depending on the vehicle's installation, it may just switch straight back to leisure battery. If this does allow you to switch batteries, it's purely to allow you to divert the charge for the mains powered battery charger where applicable. Uh, it's not designed for you to switch over to the vehicle battery to power your motorhome, because, of course, that's something you should never do. Um, and that is pretty much the operation here of the control panel. As you can see, it is very, very easy to use. Um, it's all pretty self-explanatory, really. Um, you shouldn't really have any uh, problems. Uh, of course, any of those detailed options inside the settings menu, uh, please refer to your manual uh, for more detailed information there. Um, but that about concludes the video. Now, if you do have any questions, um, you can ask your handover specialist, of course. I'm Sev. I hope you found this video useful and thank you very much for watching.